chapter 4, verse 12. We see the purpose for the gifted. Oh, God, hallelujah. We see the purpose for the gifted. The purpose for, for God placing a basic substance in us. That that substance might manifest and, and, and be the evidence of things that God already saw. That people will begin to see that manifested in us. And, and, and this is the purpose. He said, I gave you gifts. One reason he gave gifts is that the saint will be perfected. I want my saints to be perfected. Not perfect. Perfected. We won't be perfect. And that comes from each and every one of us in our place, doing what God has called us to do, touching the lives of the saints of God. Mm -hmm. I believe if one gift, if I don't do my gift, I hurt you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't work in your gift and move in your gift, you hurt me. We're a body. So if I got, and, and, I, and I thought about that, I thought all that time I wasted God, mm -hmm. that people need to hear. Needed to hear my voice. All the time you may have wasted. And there are people that are waiting to hear your voice. Mm -hmm. That may not hear me but hear you. If you wasted time, what about those people? Mm -hmm. What about the people that God called me to reach? And, and, and as I sat scared and fearful, what about those people? Mm -hmm. Yes, God can call somebody else. But I don't know about you, but I don't want God to call somebody else to do what he called me to do. I want right. to do it. I want God to say to me, well done, that good and faithful servant. Yes. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Yes. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you rule over many. Hallelujah. That's what I God to say to me. Yes. Have Glory. you ever heard God say, well done? Thank Have you Jesus. ever heard God to say, well done? Mm. Glory. That's what I want. I don't care about people. I have never been really a people person. All right. I have. Mm -hmm. I could be a hermit mm. and live, but not in the woods. <laughs> I could be hurt and live by myself and sit by myself and never be uh, bored or lonesome or, or I, I could. Amen. But, 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 that's not what we God called. Amen. That's not what God called us to be about. Mm -hmm. he called, and listen, I want to say this to you, thank you, Holy Spirit, that put forth the effort to go and talk to somebody. Especially if they're doing your church. Or even in, because a lot of you can say in churches you've been in in the past, there are people in there, you've been in the church for years, you ain't know who they were, you know their name, you know who they were. Don't do that. Make put forth the effort that when people come, and, and if you're like me, I used to be real shy. I didn't got bold. I talked to anybody anywhere now, but I wasn't always like that. Put forth the effort to talk to the people, to get to know them, so you can build a community. When people feel like they're important, then you got them. But when they, if they feel like you don't need them, you don't ever call me, you don't care, I come to church, then you lose them. Make sure you, as a new church, always let people know that you love them. Always, always. And you'll never lose anybody. In fact, you'll gain a whole bunch. Because they'll go back and tell somebody else, that church truly does love me. And if you, and if you fear, do it in fear anyway. Just do it. Do it in fear. I drive through McDonald's and have a smile, say good morning, whatever like that, and, and, and have a smile. I, just, I have learned how to override fear to really talk to people. Mm -hmm. I, would, I wouldn't talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, it didn't really matter. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to nobody. But, but I've learned how to do that. Mm. Second thing is, he gave us for the work of ministry. For us to minister. For us to minister. Not just sit down, but for us to, to perfect the saints, to minister, to edify, to build up the body of Christ. And that may be some of your calling. Maybe you're the one that always makes people feel good. There's something about you. Uh, and, and we have somebody in the church that Pastor Quinn. There's, there hasn't been a person that walked through that door that he has not made feel welcome by teasing, by joking, because that's just who he is. Mm -hmm. That's who he is. So, so maybe it's not your place to... to um, to, to edify, but you can do one. You, you may not be a joker. You may not be somebody that talks to people a lot, but you can you can throw up your hand. You can smile. Amen. You can say good morning. Amen. You can break the ice. You can you can you can make yourself be somebody that God can use. Yes. The next thing is, 
to, to, to come to the unity of faith, there is one faith. It's one God. We believe in Jesus. He died for our sins. He arose on the third day. He is Lord. He has all authority, all power. That's it. And so that unifies us. Now, now there may be some things that we disagree with. That's not enough for us to be divided. Amen. Because the foundational thing, the foundational truth is it's Jesus. Amen. As long as a church or a body, body believes that Jesus is Lord and he's Savior, mm. that's enough to unify us. Mm. Now, the other stuff we disagree with. Okay, you may say, well, you shouldn't speak in tongues, or women shouldn't be preachers, or whatever. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But Jesus is Lord. Mm. Is Jesus your Lord? Jesus is my Lord? That's it. We agree. We agree. Uh, everything else, I think God will work out. Mm. He will reveal what is truth, and he will reveal what is a lie. And even now these days, even the more he's going to reveal truth. So if it's not true, if it's not foundational, if it's nothing that the church can stand on, God will reveal it, and that's it. It's got to go. We, we, we're running out of time. Mm. And so, so we've got to find out where we belong and who we are. To come to the knowledge of the Son of God. To know who Jesus is. Not know about Jesus. Yeah, I kind of know about you because you're friends with Roger. Okay, but I don't know you. Mm. I need mean, to really know the Son of God. To have that personal relationship with Jesus. That when Jesus talks to you, you know it's Jesus. Mm. And Jesus talks to you about everything. The good stuff, the bad stuff, the discipline. Yep. Something you may be in the corner. One day I was traveling alone. I wanted a hot dog. Y'all, it was just something. I felt bad. I had to, I know it was God. I was driving alone down, uh, down the highway down there. I was on the, in the right lane, trying to get over to the left side to get a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> From Dairy Queen. And I stopped in the middle of the hill of traffic. Hell, all the time behind me, so until I can get up. And then when I got over there, then I heard the spirit say, "Now, was that worth getting a hot dog?" Mm. I felt so bad because I could have caused accident. Somebody could, I could have been a person. But but the thing that's that's the good thing about God mm. that you don't need man to tell you what you did wrong. All right. He don't have to tell you what you did wrong. If you got the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. He'll tell you what you did. Mm -hmm. And you know what He tells you. It is in love. Yeah. Now, sometimes people will tell you mm. to hurt you. Mm. But God will tell you in love. Mm. Because he wants you to get rid of that. Okay, get past that, and let's move on. Mm. God doesn't hold grudges. Amen. The next thing is, he wants us to not be children anymore. Don't act like a baby. The whining and the crying and the want my way. And do, no, 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 you can't get your way. This thing is already set up. It's all, it, we already know who, who's the head of the church is Christ. We already know who the shepherd is. We already know the ministers on him. We already know whatever your place is, we ain't got time for you to be crying and whining. No more babies. We're in the last days. We ain't got time for babies. Mm. Especially if you're in leadership. Mm. Don't get mad because nobody's speaking. She's speaking today. So what? I don't know what was on my mind. She look at me funny. Let me tell you about my faith. <laughs> I may look at you and I can look like I'm mad. I'm not. All right. Some, some, something is always on my mind. Mm -hmm. So it might be intense. I could be thinking of something. Mm -hmm. I only had one person come me and said, why are you looking like everybody else just walk away from me? But I had one friend that said, why are you looking like that? And I thought, look like what? Because I don't realize it. So don't judge a person by, by their outward appearance. Mm -hmm. God, talk to the person. Get to know them so you can know their heart. Mm -hmm. So that won't be children anymore. Tossed to and fro. Carry away by every time something comes up. We grab a hold to what everybody's saying. I'm blessed and highly faithful. Well, yeah, baby, so but all that stuff and all. No, no, no. Be you. Be God. Be you. Stop grabbing everything everybody else is saying. Be God. He doesn't want us moved by everything that happens. Because there's a change, we change. No, no. Be stable. Be secure in who you are and in Christ and in the word of God. And that's what happens when we get touched by every gift of God. When that gift has had God speak a word in them, he, speak that, he spoke that foundational substance into them, and they begin to grow in what God called them to be. These things are done. The purpose for the body, to change the body, so we'll grow up into God 